big guy in a little car. Oh, hi again. It's not really a little car, I guess. It's like 22 feet long, but I, uh, just so everybody knows a little bit more about, uh, me, um, I guess I don't know why I decided to even bring this up, but, um, just so everybody knows who doesn't know, I'm a, I'm a big guy, okay? I'm, uh, I don't know, six foot nine, ten, whatever, 330, 40 pounds, whatever, um, I'm not a small dude, okay, if you can imagine like a professional wrestler, uh, build, that's kind of like what I have, except for I might have a little bit more, uh, loving in the oven area, you know, but I don't even know if anybody says it like that. Uh, I guess the reason I wanted to even point, talk about this video, or talk to you guys about this in this video, is, uh, I wanted you guys to be aware if you, if I have a, uh, if I seem like I'm short-tempered, or if I seem like I'm just agitated easily, or if I, uh, or if I just feel like I'm tired all the time, um, I was diagnosed with, uh, obstructive, uh, sleep apnea back in the spring of 2018, I want to say, and I think that's when they prescribed me, if you want to call it a prescription, to... Well, I mean, I'm on some, I'm on some medication for it, um, for my high blood pressure. Um, but I'm also, I sleep with a, uh, with a CPAP machine. I'm sure a lot of you people know what that is. That's the, where you look like a fighter pilot while you sleep type of thing. Um, so I've been, I've been on that thing for, I guess it'll be two years now here in, in March or whatever it was. And I guess I'm just letting y'all know that I do apologize if I'm, again, short-tempered, or just, I seem agitated, or I'm just really tired, or I just feel like I want to sleep all the time, because I really do, um, I mean, the machine does do good, I can tell it does good, I woke up today with a lot of energy, I, I shaved, and I showered, and I, uh, put pants on, you know, I got dressed up, and I came out here, and I'm, I just feel like I'm full of a little bit of energy today anyway, that I would normally wouldn't have, um, but, or if I seem like I don't want to do something, um, that's probably the reason why. Uh, let's let's be honest. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I, I see my doctor again here, um, probably in February or March. If I remember, I do I, they do blood work on me again, and the, the the company I work for actually does it usually, and then I'll end up getting it done for my uh, uh, my heart doctor. Uh, so, in case you don't know what sleep apnea is, it does affect your heart. It affects your breathing. Um, uh, feels like your blood pressure is always high, uh, because the obstruct obstruction in sleep apnea is, I'm just, I stop breathing when I sleep, and, uh, that's basically what it is, it's not something they could just, I mean, they could probably go into the back of my throat and clear some gunk out, I don't even know, um, I do take a allergy medication to keep my sinuses and whatnot open, or, uh, more open anyway. But, uh, so what happens what is when you have this, this, you know, disease, whatever you want to call it, you are, you're, you're basically, you're sleeping and you stop breathing and you start choking and you start, and your heart starts racing, you know, and you don't really wake up usually. You're, you're usually just toss and turn and then you start snoring incredibly loud. And so, uh, I ended up getting a, well, after I found out, um, that I had this problem, they ended up testing me with a, with a sleep test that I got to take at home, which was cool. Uh, I think it was like a Friday to Saturday deals when I took the test, and I had to wrap everything back up and drive it out to the, to the, uh, sleep doctor again, and he's like, well, you know, we'll get your results, and yada yada, and that's when they gave me the, uh, the machine. They basically showed me how to use it, and how to work it, and these are what the numbers mean, and uh, it's going to basically give you give you sleep results, if you will. I don't know why I do that. Um, when you wake up. Uh, so, so it does, you know. And it gives you a little level of how much actual sleep, restless, not restless sleep, but restful sleep that you got. Uninterrupted sleep. And I usually average about four to five hours um, uninterrupted a day. Which probably doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's a lot better than what I was getting, which was none. Um, my... Uh, I used to, uh, I don't know if I <laughs> probably still do without the machine, but I would, uh, basically I would stop breathing like 63 to 65 times an hour. 
which is terrible numbers, terrible. It's uh, once every minute. Uh, we're basically choke, you know, and uh, uh, so, so this machine does help. Don't get me wrong, it does help, and uh, sometimes the hours at work do not help. Uh, that's another problem I'm kind of running into, where I feel like I, I don't, I feel like 50 to 54 hours a week probably isn't the best idea for me, um, but. Uh, It is, I mean, I, <laughs> it's how I make my living, I guess. I mean, not that I need that amount of hours, but I mean, it does help. It, but anyway, um, so, yeah. And this all started uh, with, well, with heart palpitations. Um, I always had, like, a really low heart rate. And uh, so low, in fact, that I would get dizzy and whatever. And so I went and saw my regular doctor. He's like, well, your blood pressure's out the roof, dude. So he put me on some prescriptions, and I, I went along with that for a little bit, and I was like, man, it just isn't helping. He's like, well, dude, I'm going to send you to a specialist. Uh, long story short, I always say that, but anyways, the videos always end up being 15 fucking minutes long. But So long story short, he sends me to uh, Dr. Patel, Rickland Patel, at the South Bend Clinic, my cardiologist. And they did the little thing where they put the pen, and they take all these pictures and this video, and... You know, wondering exactly if there's anything internally that's messed up, or is it just because I'm, you know, having these sleep issues? Well, sleep issues was the was the winner there, which I guess I'm good. I mean, my heart's pumping like it should be. It's just not. It's just when when you wake up from this, these apneas, as they call them, and you have these, you know, episodes, and uh, like I said, your heart just starts racing because you stop breathing. That's just a natural thing that it does. So it really did a lot, did a lot of wear and tear on my heart. I can't say exactly how long I've had it, uh, but I do, like I said, I do get my heart and blood pressure checked, and my medications checked, and my blood work done uh, once a year, uh, which I guess if that's the worst, or hopefully that's the worst it's going to get, then say la vie. Um, I do, it does suck because I can't, like, I can't take naps anymore without my mask. That kind of sucks, especially if you're, if I end up falling asleep on the couch. Um, that, that's, that kind of, that just sucks because I wake up and I'm like, I'm even more tired than what I was when I fell asleep because I'm just not getting quality sleep. Um, uh, I guess this is my little educational sleep thing for you. If you have a loved one who snores, uh, a lot or always tired or fatigued or whatever, you may want to get them checked out. Like seriously. Um, I don't know how many people have this disease. I'm sure it's probably millions, 50, 60 million in the States or whatever the hell. I mean, I don't know the numbers, but um, it's a thing. It's a real thing. Um, it really does make one tired all the time. You know, I just feel like I'm just drained all the time. And I think the worst thing about it is, and I don't mean any disrespect, but when people rely on me and I'm like, ugh, I just don't. I don't want to sound like an ass, but it's like, I'm sorry, I'm just too damn tired, and I'm like, oh, what are you tired from? It's like, this is my little video of telling you what I'm tired from, all right? So, right now my my sleep pap number is 6.5. It goes up to 10, as far as um, how much air it pushes into your, into your lungs to keep your passageway open. That's essentially what it does. It was the hardest thing to fall asleep with. When I first got it, it took months to, for me to get adjusted to it. And still to this day, as soon as I put it on, and as soon as I push the button to power it on, and it just starts shooting air into me, and it's like I'm, I feel like I'm Darth Vader trying to fall asleep. That still goes on, and, I'm, and I, I could just feel my chest like expanding and you know collapsing. I'm just like, oh, all right. And then it does that for about 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever. And then it finally settles down, and I'm like, oh. and weirdly enough, it's almost a relief to even have the mask on now. You know, back in 2018 when I was starting the damn thing, I would have never said that. I fucking hated the thing. I just got so frustrated. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to sleep with this thing on my face uh, for one night, let alone the rest of my life? Which I guess is what I'm kind of condemned to do, but um, I'm not doing this, like I said, I'm not explaining this or telling you all this for some kind of pity party or anything like that. I'm just telling you that that's, you know, if I, if I end up not making it to a show this year, 
or if I end up running late, or if you know, it's not because I'm fashionably late. I mean, look at this. This isn't something that takes forever to do. It's just because I had a bad night's sleep, or I hardly got any, or whatever the case may be, and so. Um, but it just sucks being tired all the time, being fatigued. Like right now, like I said, I feel I feel pretty good today. I don't really have any other plans to do today. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to be pretty lazy too, but uh, mainly because next week the schools and all the and the work, will, the, the job will get a little bit heavier next week because the schools will be back in session and. Um, so I kind of feel like I should probably get my rest now while I can. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's funny. Never gets old. And then next Saturday we're going up to my to Candy's parents' house, um, which isn't that big a deal as long as she drives. And if I get if I'm tired, I can just you know try to nod off, even though it's not good for me. But man, who would have thought naps are not healthy for some people? They're just not for me without my without my thing. But. I guess that's uh, that's my health news, <laughs> whether you wanted to hear it or not. Uh, that's what I live with every day, and, and I think the hard, like I said, the hardest thing is trying to tell somebody that no, I, I just sorry I can't, or, or I'm like, can you, you know, take a rain check, or can you do something else? It's like, or find somebody else, or whatever the case may be. It just it just sucks, you know. But And a lot of people are like, well, maybe you should try changing your diet and you'll get a better sleep. But it has really nothing to do with that. It's all just, you know, almost like congestion or, you know, there's just obstructions. That's why it's obstructive. So, and I looked into getting another, and another like, sleep doctor's opinion. He was going to do all those surgeries and knickknacks and uh, he was going to put something like a retainer that would keep my mouth from closing or opening up any farther so it got the exact amount of air I needed to sleep, which sounded like a great idea, but it was also like a 10, I want to say a seven to $10,000 procedure, which uh, my insurance did not cover any of it because he wasn't in the network. So I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to stick to my machine. Um, at least that's a network that's paid for. Uh, worst case scenario, if I ever have to get up to those numbers where it's like not going to help me, well then they're going to have to give me a more powerful machine or a more ventilated mask, or whatever the case may be, but uh, like I said, right now it works, and just like with anything, um, some days are better than others, so so yeah, that's my uh, my little rant on on my health, I guess, overall. I don't know, otherwise I feel pretty good, usually. So... It's just a sleeping thing, man. Who would have thought? Get your eight hours of sleep, people. Get your ten hours of sleep. Whatever the hell is that your body requires or your body needs, because we're all made differently. No, no, no two of us are the same, you know? So, if so-and-so needs eight hours and so-and-so needs twelve hours, then that's what you plan for. That's just the way it is. Just like with dieting, people. I mean, not, you know, maybe I can... You know, maybe I can get away with eating a little more of this or a little more of that because it just doesn't affect my chemistry, you know. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation anymore. I need to just shut up and sign off, so I think that's what I'm going to do. But get your sleep. Eat your Wheaties. Actually, don't eat your Wheaties. Stuff's gross. Eat your crackling oat brain. That's a good cereal that's underrated. Kind of like Waffle Crisp. Man, I forgot about Waffle Crisp. There's a cereal from back in the day. Jeez, ow. I need to peruse the cereal aisle, man. I buy milk, lactate, because, you know, my big ass can't handle that fucking lactose. But, uh, man, I didn't hit the cereal aisle again. I had some drumstick cereal. That was actually pretty good. Where am I going with this? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm signing off again. Uh, Y'all have a good uh, 2020, I guess. Like, I won't see you again, but have a good January. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have a good evening. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Wherever you are in the world, whoever you're watching this at. All that good stuff. This is uh, this is me in a hearse again, signing off. Hearse rant. Again. <laughs>